Since the front and back are now prepared, zippers installed, I've got my slit prepared at the bottom of my back piece, I'm going to sew my side seams together. Now I've got inseam pockets, so I'll be sewing at a half inch seam allowance, following where my tailor's tacks are, going around my pocket bags, and then back down the remainder of my side seams. You'll notice that I do not have any serge stitching on my side seams here at the base. I'm going to wait until after I have sewn my side seams and pressed them open to then finish off the rest of my seams, my seam allowance here. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this, matching up the raw edges. And I'm going to mark where I'm going to stitch. That makes it a little bit easier for me to see and maybe a little easier for you all to see. And so I'll know where to pivot when I get to these tailor's tacks. So here at my ironing board, I'm going to iron my seams flat. Recall from the sample book how to go about ironing seams if you're doing an inseam pocket or a slash pocket. I want all of my pocket excess to go towards the front of my garment. Here's my front, my back's over here with my zipper attached. So I want all the excess to go towards the front of my garment. So I will be pressing my seams open as best I can and I'm going to clip into my seam allowance to allow this portion of my seam to lay open while this portion will lay all in one direction. So I'm picking up, again, I'm placing my pocket bag towards the front of my garment and I'm picking up my back seam allowance only. It's just this upper portion and I'm gonna clip into my tailor's tack into that corner there just a little bit to relieve tension. So I can press both seam allowances towards the front of my garment and I can still open up this seam allowance at the top. Same thing down here at the bottom of my pocket bag as my stitching goes up and back down into my side seam. I'm going to pick up my seam allowance just from the back of my garment, <clears throat> just this top layer of seam allowance and I'll clip through that up into that corner 
not clipping through both layers, just the back layer. So again, all my seam allowance can go this way with my pocket bag and I can still press this seam open. You notice I used my tailor's ham at the top because I know I'm going over a curved surface where it curves over the hip of the body. But down here on the side seam, I know from looking at my pattern that this is all a straight seam. So no curves down here. I can just iron that flap on the ironing board. Now that I've clipped into these seam allowances, I can easily pick up this uh, seam allowance from the back of my garment and I can surge down, I'm just gonna isolate that one seam allowance by itself, and then I can surge down this edge of my seam, and I'll do my best to get my serger up into this corner on the front and surge down the opposite side so I can clean finish this seam allowance. Take this other half, do my best to isolate that. Make sure the rest of my seam allowance is tucked underneath there. Catch as much as you can. So there is one pocket finished. Surge stitching to finish off the seam allowance all the way down to the hem. And how it's looking from the right side of the garment. There's the pocket. I can pull out these tailor's tacks now because I'm not going to need those anymore since I've already sewn everything that I need to. I'm just going to place these right sides together again. And I'll do the same for my other side seam. So if you're sewing a slash pocket, you can sew your side seams as well. Your side seams should be ready to go, your front and back should be assembled with pocket bags and you can sew your side seams and serge the raw edges, either serge them first and then sew the side seams or vice versa and press them open. Remember the demo video that is still available on Blackboard for finishing off those, um, for the direction to press all of your excess fabric. 
if you're doing patch pockets or welt pockets, you should already have those installed and you can go ahead and finish off your side seams which with, other, with whichever method you prefer. So I'll finish off this side seam and press those and get that ready for our waistband installation.